what's up y'all it's your girl kai and i am back with another video thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are new here what's up my name is kai and you are tuning into my youtube channel it must be kai definitely go ahead and hit that like comment and subscribe button before we get right into this video in this video i'm going to be showing y'all how i refresh my wash and go let it stretch for about two three more days so if you're interested in seeing that just stay tuned all right y'all so i'm coming to y'all y'all already know what this video is about but i'm coming to y'all with the day six hair i think it's either five or six one of them but anyway your girl don't have the time or the patience or even feel like redoing this entire wash and go i still see the potential in it if you haven't seen this wash and go definitely go check it out this is the uncle funky's daughter wash and go with the curl magic so definitely check that video out so you know how we got here and so you could get my full honest review on this product but this is the result of this wash and go being in for about six seven days and to be honest i was like let me come and show them what i do to refresh my wash and go because we don't always want to rinse our wash and go out and do a completely different one we all have jobs things to do some people have children so it's just like i need to be able to refresh this and keep on moving about my week now what i will say is this routine that i do to refresh my wash and go it really only holds me over for another two days then after that it's really gonna be struggling and it's gonna be time to wash it out so this can really only buy you two days okay if you can stretch it longer than that by all means sis by all means teach me okay so first things first that i'm doing i'm literally just showing y'all how my hair is currently and i'm just gonna wet it down with some water and i am only wetting down the parts that i want to refresh i do not see the need in refreshing my entire head because the front of my hair the curls get frizzier and go away faster and i think that's just because me putting it up every night and just the difference in hair textures but the back side definitely does last way longer than the front side so i'm just gonna spray water and then i'm actually just gonna massage that water in and what i'm doing by spraying water on the parts of my hair that i want to refresh all i'm doing is just reactivating that product so literally it's feeling like the uncle funky's daughter is just being like woken up off of my hair since i applied the water to it and i'm just gonna gently just smooth it in i'm gonna add just enough water i'm not gonna soak my hair i'm really just gonna dampen it just to reactivate that product and like i said i'm only doing it on the front part of my hair if i did if i was going to like some special event or something like that and i wanted to look like super duper duper cute or whatever i would take the time to do my entire head just soak it down a bit but as you can see by me just soaking my by me just dampening my hair and using my hands to reactivate that product and smoothen what's already there you can see my curls coming back to life they're popping you can see the shine returning and everything so all we're going to do next is we just want to be able to keep that shine and that is on our hair right now with just water we just want to layer the product back on so that we can continue to have that shine for another two three days and just hold this wash and go all the way down so i'm just going back in with the uncle funky's daughter curly magic i'm not going to use a lot of this at all but with when it comes to refreshing my wash and go it doesn't matter what product i use i'm pretty much going to use this same routine every single time so if you use the pillow soft curls if you use camille rose curl maker if you use wetline extreme always start with just dampening your hair a little bit with whatever section you want to refresh and then go back in with that same product only thing i do have to say is do not use a lot of product okay because all of us naturals know that when you use too much product you're going to deal with that chemical reaction of it drying and then flaking off and then you're going to have flaky hair so when it came to reapplying this uncle funky's daughter and i didn't want to put too much product on because you have to remember there is already product in your hair you're just trying to refresh it and get those curls back popping so i just used a little bit i used three pumps on um 
one side of my head that has the most hair on it and on this smaller side i only use two pumps but i'm literally just taking my time and massaging that product into my hair i'm probably massaging it and working it in better than i did when i even first put the product in my hair because i really just want to work it in good and just help bring those curls back to life so that's all i'm doing here just getting that product in really good on the areas that i want it on like I said, no matter what product it is that you use on the wash and go, just make sure you're using the same products that's already in your head because you don't want to have to deal with the chemical reaction of products not reacting well together. So as you can see, my wash and go is looking brand new already. It's looking good for the next couple of days. And so the thing is too, it looks like a dry wash and go. It doesn't look away. It doesn't look super duper brand new because we don't want the contrast from the front and the back of our hair to look completely different because that'll look really, really funny. We don't want the front of our head to look brand spanking new, like super fresh wash and go. And then the back of our head to look like day eight. Okay. We just don't want that. But like I said, that's the reason why this will only hold you for about two more days before the back before other sections of your head that you didn't refresh start going ham okay so next i am going in with the olive oil mousse you can also use a lot of body whatever mousse you want to use and all that's going to do is that's just going to define and seal the product that we've already put on our hair because our hair is more prone to frizzing back up and just reacting to the weather because this is an old wash and go we just have to take an extra step and make sure that that product is going to be sealed in our hair and plus mousse is also going to add shine to it as well like i said um it's very you know what now that i think about it it is very rare that i do my entire head i usually only refresh the front to hold me off for a few more days i usually don't do my entire head just because i feel like that would take too long I think I would only do my entire head if I was really trying to stretch it for another like four days, not two, not, not one or two days. But if I'm trying to go for like three, four days, I think I will refresh my whole head. But anyway, I'm just going to work in that mousse. The mousse does take a minute to dry, so don't be afraid. I know it looks white and it's going to thicken up and everything. And y'all literally just trust the process i promise so like i said on the other side i'm gonna use just a tad on that side and we're just gonna continue to work all of that in Okay, y'all, so now we are on the final step, and it is the wet line extreme. All I'm going to do right here is literally brush my baby hair back, the old baby hair, and I'm just going to pull down some new old baby hair. I know we say brush it back and get some new ones, but it's really all the same hair. Anyway, I'm just smoothing that hair back and just defining my part just a little bit more if you know you know i don't like a defined part when it comes to a wash and go only if it's a middle part but anyway i'm just going to slick down some new baby hair because y'all saw in the beginning it will rolled up honey because y'all when i tell y'all when it comes to me wearing a wash and go i roll out of bed take that bonnet off shake that hair out and go and that's it if i have a chance i will slick the baby hair down if not i'm pushing it back okay because we don't need no rolled up bbs on our edges okay so i'm just getting some new baby hair because it's nighttime. I already took my shower and everything. I just wanted to refresh my wash and go for the start of the week so that it could last just a little bit longer. And so I'm just getting down some new baby hair, slicking it down good. I'm going to tie it down and everything so that in the morning, once again, I could take the bonnet off, shake it out and go. Okay. That's just what we doing because the point of a wash and go is convenience. This is why we wear wash and goes because they're convenient. I 
do my wash and go and i don't have to mess with my hair for the rest of the week if i do want to stretch my wash and go and wear it longer i can and i hope that me doing this definitely shows y'all how you can stretch your wash and go and wear it longer just to be more convenient for your life so as you can see my wash and go is defined okay the front and the back are blending because we didn't completely do it over we didn't saturate our hair we didn't use too much product so the front and the back do not look drastically different the front is just a little bit more defined but as it dries it's definitely going to blend in with the rest of my head so we don't have to look funny okay but we are going to be good to go for the next two three days no matter the weather or anything like that but eventually your girl will wash this out and do another wash and go or another hairstyle but i do got something in the vault for y'all but i thank you guys so so much for tuning in to this video definitely be sure to like comment and subscribe comment down below how you refresh your wash and go what's the longest you've ever made your wash and go stretch so and give me some tips okay because this is a sharing area y'all gotta share in the comments all right but thank you guys so so much for tuning in and i will see y'all in the next video